All right, so it looks like we got another software update. Here you can see 2022.45.15. Let's go ahead and install now. It says two minutes. We're going to tap this to start it right away. Okay, and just like every update, we're going to get this screen. It's going to change saying it's doing updating other stuff. And then we'll see you guys when it's ready. Okay, so yeah, I don't want to sit here because last time it took like more than 25 minutes or so. So I'll see you guys later. Right now it's 10.04. We'll see when it's done. All right, bye. All right, it's now 10.16 or so. And here you can see software updating to 2022.45.15. Updating electronic control units, driving and charging disabled. Oh, did you hear that click? We'll see how it goes. Okay, so 10.34 now. Basically been about 30 minutes. You can see it says rebooting, driving disabled. Do not drive until complete. So probably a couple minutes more. All right, see you guys then. All right, 10.35, the thing restarted. We got the Tesla logo coming on. And we'll just wait. All right, so 10.36, the update just finished. I don't know why it has that song. I wasn't listening to that, but all right. And it should be popping up. There you go. <clears throat> Full self-driving beta. We're just gonna quickly kind of go through this. Obviously, it's just gonna say like stuff improved for in terms of full self-driving beta. And this is 2022.45.15. Okay, so here's the oops. Here's what it says there. Oop, I want it to stay. You can pause and read it if you want. Okay, but basically, yeah, it says to like keep paying attention and stuff. And it's running on Tesla Vision, and top speed is 85. Okay, then we got the new. FSD beta, now it's 11.3.6 instead of 11.3.3. .3. So we got all this. Again, you can pause and read it. FSD beta on highway. We've already had that. Recall for close by cutting cases. Okay. Proof the position. Proof handling with higher curvature vehicles and stuff. Okay, improved behavior for path blockage, lane change in dense traffic. Okay, improved lane change in dense traffic scenarios. I wonder what it will do if I try and go to Golfland again where it has that block, like that blocked off road. Smoother turns. Okay. Improved accuracy, detecting other vehicles, extended maximum trajectory optimization, improved driving behavior, okay, back to back lane change maneuvers. text blurbs so now we'll tell you more I guess what it's planning what it's trying to do or what it's linking improved recall and position object detection okay so now it's better at knowing where semi trucks are reduce false offsetting And adjusted position of automatic blind spot camera. Huh. Okay, over the air recall stuff. You can read that. I think this was already in the other one. can pause and read it if you want. I think this is the same thing that was there earlier. Okay. 
Okay, and then the suspension stuff, it, again, it like resets the counters you've had, I'm pretty sure. Cabin camp, yeah, this is all repeat stuff. Apple Music, Zoom meetings, and talk mode. Light show, yeah, that's all old stuff. So, that's pretty much it. Alright, so that's all for now. I'll probably do a test drive soon, but it'll be on its own separate video. So keep a lookout for that. Alright, bye for now.